but I'm going to show you how to create a centered logo with a centered navigation menu using any theme and the Beaver Themer plugin. Let's get started and I'll show you how easy it is to do this. This is a fresh install of WordPress. I've got a couple of pages created as you can see there. I've got Astra theme installed. You could actually do this with any theme. I'm going to use Beaver Themer to create a centered logo and have my menu below it. So what I want to do is have this left aligned logo and right aligned menu changed around to have the logo, which is currently just text, in the center to have my menu below it. Now remember, I'm using Astra theme. You can use any theme or just about any theme with Beaver Themer to do the exact same thing. So to get started, let's go to our dashboard. Let's go to Beaver Builder. I've got Beaver Builder installed with Beaver Themer. Let's go to Themer Layouts. We'll click Add New to create a new layout. I'm going to call this um, Centered Logo. It's a theme layout and it's a header and I'll say Add Theme Layout. Now, where do I want it? Well, let's start at the beginning. I'm jumping the gun here. Do I want it to be sticky? Let's say yes. Do I want it to shrink? Let's say yes. Do I want it to be overlay? In other words, transparent. For now, I'm going to say no. Then, where do I want it? My location. For now, let's say entire site. But we've got a lot of options here with Beaver Thema. I'm going to say entire site. And then users. I'll keep it on all users. We could show this only to specific users. And then with location, we could show it on specific pages, on archives, on our shop page or pages, perhaps wherever we'd like. So I'll leave it on the stock standard and I'm going to say launch Beaver Builder to start building my actual menu or header with a centered menu and logo. And then we're going to insert it or it will be inserted automatically. Now I'll click launch Beaver Builder to get started building my actual header with my centered logo and my centered menu. Now I'm taken into Beaver Builder. Here we've got a standard layout and content that Beaver Thema will include i'm going to discard most of it so what i want to do here is remove that top row there it's got some social information some social links an email address and a phone number so to do that oops it's a little finicky i'm going to remove it and then i'll delete the row and there we go we've got our header i can obviously remove this if i want to and start from scratch or i can just use what's here in fact, to demonstrate it, let me just start from scratch and then you can get an idea of what we're going to do here. I'm going to remove it and say yes, and then I'm going to pull in a row. Let's keep it on one row for now, one column rather. There is our row. Now I'm going to use, now remember, I've got Beaver Thema installed here. I've got Beaver Builder, the pro version installed here. I'm going to pull in a, a photo module to use for my logo, to display my logo. So what I'll do is select photo and I'm going to upload a photo. There's my logo. I'll select, say select the photo. There is my logo. Now what I want to do is include another row because I want my menu below it. I'll pull in another column or another row whichever one you want to call it below there and now i'm going to stick in my menu let's go and search for menu there it is pull that in i'm going to select my primary menu which is the only menu that i've got let's have a look at currently what it looks like so i'm going to pull in that menu there and that's what it currently looks like now, a few options. Loud is horizontal. That's fine. Submenu icon. If there was a submenu, there isn't one, but I've got choices. I could have plus sign. I could have arrows. I'm going to leave it as none for now. Responsive toggle. I've got an option. Hamburger icon. Hamburger icon plus logo. Logo. <laughs> hamburger icon plus label or menu button. Responsive line, style inline so, um, and then responsive breakpoint. Small devices only, medium and small devices only or always. I'm going to leave it on small devices only for now. We have got those options there. Okay, with respect to style, menu alignment, I want it to be center. 
got options of left, right, or center. So let's pull it on center. And then submenu drop down shadow, I'll leave it on yes for now. If there's no submenu or no items for a submenu, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, link horizontal spacing, that would be that spacing there. Vertical spacing would be the spacing there. I'm going to leave those as is for now. We can always tweak it later if necessary. Now on the link color, what normally happens here is those colors will be taken from the actual theme itself. So I'm, I'm not going to worry about that now because I haven't set up, this is a, a starter theme. I haven't set up anything there. Everything as is, as is default for now. I just want you to get an idea of what we can do. And then there's a menu background color. So now we could have, have background colors for the specific menu, or we could give these actual rows, these columns, or the actual entire row, we could give it some styling there and maybe push in the colors there, which is probably the way that I would normally go. Anyway, for now, let me make this uh, full width, and then content width is fixed. If I leave it as is now, he says pushed it to full width there. Uh, let's go have a look at what it looks like. I'm going to publish it. And there we go. Now, let's go to the front and look what it looked like. That was what it looked like before with my left aligned logo, my right aligned menu. And now I'm going to open in a new tab. And that's what it currently looks like. Now, remember, I haven't given it any color or anything like that. Uh, we could go and do that. That was white, so let's go back and make that white just so that we've got something so a, a better idea of what we're doing here. So I'll click on Beaver Builder again, gone back to my actual header. Uh, let's just make the entire row white. So I'll scroll down and I'll say background, color, I can have a photo, video, slideshow, parallax, ultimate gra gra gradient. It comes with ultimate add-ons, by the way. It's not native to Beaver Builder. Anyway, let's make uh, this simple and go color. And let's select a color, which is white. And there we go. I'm going to save it and click done and publish. We go to our front end. That's what it currently looks like. Now this should be white. And there you go. Now, I would like a little less spacing there. Possibly a little less spacing there. In fact, uh, let's just take out that padding, make it a little tighter. So what we'll go is go back to our actual layout. Um, most likely, well, let's start with a row. So I'll click on the row editing. I'll go to advanced. Um, currently, it's 20 and 20, top and bottom. I'm wondering if I shouldn't leave that as is. Let, let's go to the actual picture. Let's remove some padding at the bottom, which is zero. And the top, let's make it zero and see what it does. Possibly the row padding will suffice. And then this is the actual menu and we'll click on advanced then and top we'll go i think i'm going to leave top on perhaps 10 and bottom on zero and see what that does okay so i just would like a little bit more space between the actual logo and the menu uh, one more thing but i'll show you this afterwards uh, let's click done now and see how we're looking let's go back to our store Remember, we're tightening up the padding there, there, and there. Let's refresh. Yes, that looks a little bit better. I uh, could still do with a little less padding here, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. Now, as you can see, this is very important. We've got our home link there, which is in our menu in WordPress on the back end. But we don't have a link on our logo, which is always a good idea. So let me show you quickly how to do that in Beaver Thema. We'll go back to our logo, we'll start editing it. We'll actually click on the actual um, photo module and then we'll scroll down and say link type, currently it's set to none. And then we'll say URL, which is what we want. There's a few ways we can do this. We could go forward slash here, that would suffice. Or we could use the power of Beaver Thema, we could click the little plus and we could say, site url which i think is the better way to do this and we'll click connect and now beaver thema will insert the site url so when we click on it it'll be it'll take us to the home page so it'll act in a in a more standard way and visitors will understand how that works anyway i'm happy with that let's click done and let's click publish let's look at it on the front end let's refresh and now it's a link and when we click on it it goes to the home page Done, and that's as simple as what it is. So, 
that's how we can create a centered logo. Now, while we are at it, let's have a look at how this looks in responsive mode. What I'm going to do to view that is I'm going to right click. I'm using uh, Opera, by the way. Um, Chrome will work very similar to Opera. They're both based on Chromium. Or you could do this in most other browsers support the same thing. And I'm going to go inspect element. And then I'm going to click on that option over there. And that is what it looks like. Let me move this down. In fact, let me just push that out so it's completely out of the way. Um, and I'll go back here. There we go. Okay, so that's that's what my website looks like. Let's uh, well, it's unresponsive now. We've got those options, or we could even edit it for specific devices. But let's have a look at that's what it will look like for mobile, which looks good. Let's click on the menu, and it pops out. So very simple. Remember, we haven't done any styling to the logo it's, or the menu rather itself. To the background, it's just we've made it white, we've stuck it in there, we've centered it, and then we've added the, the link. That's it. Simple as that. And that's what it looks like. Let's go have a look at what it might look like on an iPad or an iPad Pro. Let's go with the iPad Pro. And that's what it looks like on iPad Pro. So it's not responsive anymore. It doesn't have the hamburger icon. It looks more normal, shall we say. And that is it. That is how easy it is with Beaver Thema to create a centered logo. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this content, please do subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And then of course also hit that notification bell and you'll be notified each time I upload new content. I will be pushing out e-commerce and WooCommerce and WordPress videos on a weekly basis. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Have a super day. Bye for now.